Hey, hola, my friends. I hope all is fine and well with you and yours. We're going to do a quick checkup on the aquaponics garden today. Hey, you know, I really do think of these fish not as just a food source or as just a protein source. They are sort of, they're part of our life. Not just part of our family, but they're a part of our life. Because you don't really eat your family members. At least not in Tucson, Arizona, we don't. But I think of these guys as like part of my life because I honestly can't express the way that I'd want to live if I didn't have them and if we didn't have the gardens. Um, remember our lettuce? Actually, you didn't even see this one. These are ones that I just pulled that were multiple lettuce starts in one plug of rock wool. And I just pull them out separately. If you guys get a chance, please go through our old videos. You'll see how we do it. It's pretty cool. Um, a couple of things I wanted to point out over here. Our greens and our cabbage are finally starting to take a little bit of shape, which I'm happy about that because for winter greens, they do not like 92 degree days, which is what we had today. But it's one of the things you have to deal with when growing in the desert. I can't imagine doing it any other way, being able to grow year round. And speaking of growing year round, you know, if you guys saw the documentary, a huge part of this is my family. And I want you guys to all know that you are part of my extended family. You are. We don't have, I don't have a boss. I have one, well, I do. Shh, don't tell her I know this, but my wife, Rose. Other than that, my boss is you guys. You guys help me figure out what you want to see. And then I do it. But make no mistake about it, the least of things that we do here is nerd you out and geek you out about gardening because I like what gardening can do, what gardening does. It brings families together. Those who weren't families become one because gardens unite people. And I love that about what we're doing. Look at our basil plant. Now, this guy's still here because, um, yeah, he doesn't have many visitors on him right now. But, yeah, oh, there's one. Actually, I think that's a fly, not a bee. But the bees have been cra going crazy with pollination on this guy. So I'm not moving this because they're loving it. And plus, it makes a pretty decent shade. Well, not really a shade, but just backdrop for our melons that are still producing yeah not even kidding guys i actually had one of these today uh, my wife and i shared it for lunch you know not to sidetrack it but um our son um came and visited today our son davon the one with the dreadlocks if you don't know him his name's young davon he's a pretty famous musician but um they, when he comes into town he actually visits us and you know being a, having grown kids the thing is and i'm really talking to the dads out there y'all with me fellas yeah i want you to know no matter how old your kids are love them and if you love them right they will always come back they will always come back i didn't really have that opportunity when i was growing up because i you know i love my dad but i didn't have a dad there my mom was everything still is everything you know but to for me to be from the ghetto and to be able to have that kind of love in my life i wouldn't give it up for anything i do anything to keep it because that's the kind of love that gets your family to come together just as your vegetables do in a garden. And it's not the things that you do in a moment. Maybe it's the things that you just save it for later. Like you guys remember the beautiful cucumbers that we had here? Well, guess what? We got a good four or five months worth of um, six different flavored um, pickles that my wife makes every single year. And remember the melons that we grew a while ago? Well, what we do is we chop them up and we freeze them and we use these for fruit smoothies, anything of that nature, or just to throw them out and just have some good watermelon when we want it. And I think that's the beauty to gardening. It's not having what you want when you want it. It's expressing yourself. It's such a great expression through love that actually shines through family and it makes your family larger, just like it did with us when we met every single one of you guys out there. And we really do love you. Don't forget that. If you ever want specs or anything on aquaponics, anything of that nature, trust me, I can point you to the right people. And those right people will tell you that because of what we've been doing over here, it's really helped them out a lot. And once again, that's how family, that's how family goes. And that's what family does. Each one teaches one. Each one helps one. If you happen to be a moderator of a web page or anything or a website or Facebook site page, anything of that nature, humble yourselves, man. Humble yourselves, I'm telling you now, because if you think you know it all, you don't. And just like all other forms of gardening, aquaponics and hydroponics is constantly evolving. Plant that first seed and together we'll grow. Peace and blessings, my friends. Later.